Cannabis is one of 250,000 workers a year. An insurance rating agency said gets too close to these antennas. They act as an open microwave and can cause eye damage, sterility, and cognitive damages. What we're going to go do is well, I'm going to show you the invisible footprint of these potentially hazardous areas that workers don't see. Drew Fountain has a $20,000 meter that measures the RF frequency. An RF frequency over 20% can injure people. Over 100% can burn someone. The public is being warned to stay away from these death towers after it was discovered that many are operating above regulation safety limits. These death towers are much more dangerous than the public is made aware of. And this latest revelation is just staggering. 250,000 workers every year are burned, injured by the radiation coming from these towers. They display symptoms of radiation poisoning. And this is on top of the numerous cancer clusters that are being reported across the nation from elementary schools to universities it is a mass extinction event unfolding before our very eyes ladies and gentlemen and these death towers are going up everywhere and this administration is nowhere to be found except what we do know is that they are supporting the rollout of 5g in every town on every farm they say you can love this president but you can certainly wonder why they're rolling out the 5G, knowing that there is no evidence proving that they're safe. In fact, there is over 1,000 studies proving that this type of radiation is carcinogenic and lethal over a long period of time, ladies and gentlemen. And we're seeing you know, more and more cases of brain cancers, even children these days, they get the tablets you know, pretty much as soon as they're born, the iPads and the like, and they're just bombarded with radiation as soon as they enter the world. And, you know, we're seeing, you know, disturbing numbers of cases related to EMF exposure. This is why we're promoting the EMF 390. It is a very inexpensive uh, solution, only 109 compared to the competitors, and it works just as well as you can see in this comparison video, which we played before over and over again. If you don't have an EMF meter, you're putting yourself at risk, ladies and gentlemen. And don't get screwed by Home Depot with the El Cheapo that only picks up magnetic fields. You really want something that picks up these death towers. You can find the EMF 390 on our website at the affiliate price of 109. They sell them for 119 at the, uh, at the Amazon store. But these death towers are showing up everywhere at the schools at the playgrounds at the shopping mall along busy intersections where you see uh you know rush hour traffic conditions where you're stuck in traffic wherever they can just basically have you sit still so that they can zap you with these death towers that's exactly what they're doing this is definitely part of the eugenics program ladies and gentlemen these towers have a range of 25 miles. They don't need to be right next door. They don't need to be next to your bedroom window. They don't need to be on top of schools. They're there uh, to irradiate people. They're there like, you know, like these machine guns are there to exterminate people, ladies and gentlemen. It's just that you can't see the bullets flying out of these death towers if you could if you had the goggles that would let you see what's coming out of these death towers, you'd be running for your city council meeting. You'd be running you know, to the mayor's office. You'd be demanding that these things come down. And look at the way they, they look these days. They're camouflaged. They're hiding them from you. They don't want you to think about these things. Why don't they want you to think about these things, ladies and gentlemen? Because the evidence is overwhelming that these things cause cancer, that they burn people, they cause radiation sickness among the workers. 250,000 cases a year. Imagine if you line these people up. I mean, it would be like, a, it would be a pretty huge city. 250,000 people. Now we're getting, um, you know, activists out there 
going to the city council meetings and uh, basically stopping the erection of these death towers in you know various neighborhoods with lots of success. And we recommend that everybody go out there and be a superhero for your local community and uh, start bringing the local news to the city council meetings whenever they're talking about these death towers. And, e and even if they're not talking about these death towers, they usually give you a few minutes to speak. If you're a resident of that town, go there, sign up, speak, talk about the death towers, do a silent protest in front of a Verizon store or a Sprint store. You don't want these things in your neighborhood. You don't want these things, you know, at your school. You don't want these things, uh, you know, at the shopping center. You don't, you don't want them at the grocery store. You don't want them in front of your window, ladies and gentlemen, to say the least. And uh, if you don't have a meter, go out there and get one. You know, no matter which one you get, you know, the, the gigahertz solution can run you up to $1,000. The, the tri-field meter can run you up to $300 to $300. The EMF 390 is 109. And so it's a steal, it's a deal, and it works just as well. And it fits in your pocket. It's about the size of a cell phone and you'll be glad you got one, check it out, stfnreport.com. Get one today. In any case, these death towers are the backbone for the next chapter of the agenda, which is the transhumanism, the automation, the Terminators, the Skynet, the Robocops, the works, including the Matrix, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you've seen the Neuralink videos, you've seen you know, the various companies out there talking about, you know, plugging you into the matrix, getting a brain chip and the like so that you can be an avatar for the Skynet so that you can join the hive mind and the like. They need the 5G out there for this to work. And so if we stop the 5G, we stop the transhumanism, we stop the Skynet, we stop their eugenics program. And as cliche as all of that sounds, you know, the evidence is overwhelming. These things definitely cause cancer over the long term. It's not an it's not a bullet to the head. It's not an instantaneous bullet to the head. But over time, these things definitely up your risk and that's why you should lower your exposure to these death towers. And the only way you're going to be able to know what you're being exposed to is if you have a meter out there. And again, that's why we we recommend the MF390 It'll give you, you know, solid feedback about what's going on in your area. And once you see what you're getting dosed with, you know, you're gonna be out there going to the city council meeting. You're gonna be doing the silent protest in front of the Verizon store. You're gonna be talking about this to your friends, you know, at the bar, at work, uh, you know, wherever you go, because these things are becoming a huge nuisance and a risk. I mean, the last thing you want is this thing next door and so that you're up all night thinking about, you know, how you're getting dosed by these death towers. Prevention is key here. Being proactive is key here, not reactive. Again, the big breaking news here, ladies and gentlemen, over 250,000 telecom workers get RF poisoning of some sort, whether it be radiation sickness, RF burns and the like, every year 250,000 people why because these towers are you know misconfigured to say the least they're they're overpowered they're weaponized oh my god and you know they're pointed right at you know where people congregate and we've seen them you know at churches we've seen them pointed at parking lots at gas stations on busy roads elementary schools, playgrounds, you'd be surprised what's being targeted by these death towers. And they have a long range. And you might think, well, you know, you're, you're two miles away from the death tower. If you've got a clear, clear uh, line of sight and these little rectennas are pointed in your direction, there's a high probability that you're getting super dosed by these uh, death towers. And the readings can be pretty astronomical if you're in the beam uh, that these things are putting out and each rectenna puts out a beam like a spotlight and you just don't want to be in those hot zones and the only way you're going to know literally is if you have a meter in any case you want to be proactive you don't want these monsters showing up in your neighborhood and they will thanks to 
you know, the big lobby, uh, the big lobbying firms from the telecoms, as well as, you know, the politicians out there that have, you know, sold you out for, you know, what must be just chump change. And now everybody's facing the consequences uh, because of that. You know, this system has sold out everybody. You look at our food, it's illegal in most other countries. They don't want it. They don't want the chlorinated chicken. They don't want the GMOs with the growth hormones and the antibiotics and the like. They don't want, you know, the fluoridated water. They don't want what we got going on with it. You know, there's countries that are banning the 5G. Why are we the guinea pigs? Why are we being treated the worst of the worst in the civilized world? Why are these death towers coming to a neighborhood near you so that you can have, you know, faster download speeds? For real, you need to, you know, people don't need to download a movie in 2.1 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, certainly, you know, not considering what has to go up in your neighborhood uh, to do that. In any case, I think people should have uh, the option to opt out. But when these death towers come up in your neighborhood, you can't opt out. It's nonstop radiation. And over time, it kills. The studies prove that. Everybody knows that these things are bad news. And, you know, the, the science that, you know, that the telecoms are putting out there are, are forged. They're, you know, their books are cooked. To say the least, they, they basically pay off scientists to basically say that everything is okay. But the evidence is overwhelming here, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the Bioinitiative Report on RF exposure and the like. Check out the cancer clusters in elementary schools and universities around the country. You'll see them out there uh, on the internets. And uh, they don't talk about it, but these things are deadly to say the least. That's going to be it for this broadcast. Remember, what you're seeing on television, it isn't about politics it's about the epic struggle of good versus evil all of these people are commiserating together to sell you out and you know you can like what they're selling uh, on television you can like what they're saying but at the end of the day these people are there to you know implement the program the agenda 2030 and the like ladies and gentlemen it's not about politics it's not about right versus left it's about good versus evil out there and all of these people are in it together like a bunch of Charlie Manson groupies. So don't be a sheeple out there. You woke up after 9-11 not to go back to sleep. The evidence is overwhelming. You know, these people aren't delivering. Uh, you know, they didn't put Hillary in prison. They didn't put in place term limits and the like. Instead, they're just doing the same old thing. Wh whacking the, the witnesses and, uh, and the like. We'll leave it there for this broadcast. Check us out at uh, stfnreport.com. Till the next time, if you're listening to this, you are the resistance.